I used this and I was just like, who body is this? Whose skin is this? This is not me. No. Hey YouTube, it's Queen I my here and today I'm going to be giving my skincare routine for eczema and dry skin. So first I'm going to let you guys know a little bit about myself and my skin. I am going to give you guys tips on how to deal with dry skin and eczema and I'm also going to be showing you guys products that I use to maintain my dry skin and keep it soft and moisturized. So before we start, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, do your girl a favor and subscribe. Okay, and we just going to get right into it. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I've had eczema all my life since I came out the womb and I've had it every place on my body, you name it. I've had eczema on my face, my neck, my chest, my breasts, my stomach, my thighs, my back of my legs, my toes, my back, my back, my hands, my wrists. And in the summertime when I used to sweat, that used to be horrible for me, horrible. Cause sweat and eczema do not mix. I figured out some things that triggered my eczema and what caused it to get so bad. But eczema is only in DNA. Even if you clear it up on the outside surfaces of your skin, it's still in your DNA and you can have a flare up anytime. So let's get into the start of the day, honey. When you're waking up, whether you wake up in the nighttime or the daytime, make sure that you take a bath. When you take a bath, the shower, whatever you want to call it, you want to make sure that the water is cool or is warm, okay? You do not want to wash up in hot water. Hot water dries out your skin. If you already have dry skin, you already have eczema already, and you're drying out your skin even more, how you expect your skin to get better? That's going to cause flare up in your skin because the drier your skin gets, the worse your eczema becomes. So you just want to keep the water on cool, keep the water on warm. Not so harsh, not too hot, where you know it can dry out your skin, drier than it already is. And if you do want to take hot showers, don't take long hot showers, okay? Don't let it be too long. Just let it be real quick. I notice when I use hot water on my skin, my skin gets dry and it starts peeling and mm. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the product that I use when I'm taking a shower. So when I'm bathing, right, I love to use exfoliating products. I think those are the best for dry skin. Exfoliating products, I used to sleep on exfoliating products. I used to be like, I don't need that. What do I need that for? Like. I'll be an extra. Y'all just need extra. Also, I was gonna get the exfoliating gloves too. But I just feel like that stuff is just extra. Like, I don't really need exfoliating products. What I really need is something to moisturize and soften up my skin because I do have eczema. What? You know, until I really like did my research on it and I was just like, hmm, because I like to clean myself. I like to deep clean myself. So I'm like exfoliating. Hmm. Let me try that out. Let me try that out because I do like to stay fresh, okay? We stay fresh over here. Let me show y'all the products that I have. Let me stop talking. All right, so um, I'm gonna start with. All right, let me go in order that I wash up with. Okay, so when I step in this, when I step in the tub, I wet up my skin, and then the first thing that I get is my bump eraser body scrub. I get this from I got this from Amazon. So I got this KP bump eraser scrub about almost a week ago. I got this because I do have this skin condition where my hair follicles are raised. The initials are KP. I'm not really sure of the whole word, what the whole word is. When I find out what it is, I'll put it somewhere over here. My skin is rough. My skin does get bumpy, especially my stomach area. So before I thought like the bumps on my skin was normal. I used to see it, you know, I used to be like, why well, I got a bump on my stomach? And I used to look at everybody else's stomach like, they don't got that. Like, why well, I gotta have it? So I started doing my research. I realized, you know, they have treatments for it. And I found this. So I'm using this now and this works amazing. Like this is amazing. If you have KP, if you have raised hair bumps, raised hair follicles, raised skin bumps, or whatever you wanna call it, this is the one for you. I use this every time I step in the tub. I don't use a lot though, because this is, a, this was $28, <laughs> almost $30. You don't want to use too much. You don't want it to be going and then you got to buy, you know, another one and spend another $30 on it. And my stomach is so smooth, okay? Before you could feel it, like the little bumps, but it's so smooth, okay? And I just know the more and more I keep using this, it's going to be clear, baby. It's going to be clear. It's going to be gone, disappear. This right here is the bomb. And also, I forgot to tell you guys, when I use this, the body scrub, I like to go in with this scrub right here. And I go in circular motions around my stomach. I use this directly on my stomach and only on my stomach for my KP. So keratosis, something like that, something like that. But I don't want to say it wrong. So I'm just gonna, you know, put it down here. But I'm gonna show y'all the texture. All right. So it's 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 a bit white. Y'all see it? I don't know. 
it's a nice little body scrub. So I just put that on my stomach and then I take my scrubber and I just go in circular motions around my stomach where the bumps are. And I do that for about 10 minutes. I do for 10 minutes. And then for the rest of my body, because my rest of my body be dry too, but I don't have KP. I don't have KP anywhere else. But I also use this body scrub right after that. I rinse that off and then I use Brooklyn Botany Brown Sugar Scrub. And I got this off of Amazon too. I get most of my stuff off of Amazon because basically I'm just searching up things, what I need, and nine times out of ten, Amazon is gonna have it. Let me tell you about this right here. Can y'all seen it? Listen, if you have dry skin, get this right here. This is literally like brown sugar in a jar. I don't know if it's literally brown sugar because it looks like brown sugar, it feels like brown sugar, and it tastes like brown sugar. Okay, this is sweet. I put this all over my body. Let me show y'all. I'm not gonna take my finger in it, but let me show y'all. Can y'all see? It's, it's a bit oily. And that's the good thing about it. This thing right here is so moisturizing. Y'all seen the oil inside the jar, right? When that oil sit on your skin, I put this on my face. I put this. See, the KP, the KP treatment, you can't put on your face, okay? You can't put that on your face. But this right here, it says you can put it on your face. So I just put it on my face. I put it everywhere. Everywhere. I put it on my face, neck, arms, chest, breast, stomach, thighs, legs, knees, feet, everywhere. I put it everywhere, okay? And let me tell you, when this thing sits on my skin, I don't even got to use a scrubber. I don't even got to use a scrubber. When it just simply sits on my skin, my skin just feels like a baby's bottom. Literally, like, I'm not even exaggerating. I was just like, who body is this? Who body is this? Like, I used this and I was just like, who body is this? Whose skin is this? This is not me. No, 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 no. Whoever made this product, you blessed me, okay? You blessed me. Whoever watching this video, you got dry skin, you got eczema, you need to get that right now. And after that, I go in with my Dove Deep Moisture. Instead of going with this last, I'm going to go with this first, okay? To clean my body first. Even though I feel like you, you should exfoliate your skin before you, you know, do a big wash. But, you know, the way the scrub products are set up, they're so good. I want to do those last, okay? So, yeah, I do this one last, but I'm going to do this one first. And then I'm going to go in with my exfoliated products. Especially my brown sugar. My brown sugar is the last thing I'm going to start using because that is so amazing. And this right here, it moisturizes my skin. It's so thick and so creamy. And I just love the way it feels on my skin. So we're done with that. And we're cleaned up. We're moisturized. We're soft. We're feeling fresh. And I wash it with those every single day. When I come out the tub, what I like to do is I like to moisturize. Sorry. I like to moisturize myself with. I'm going to show you my moisturizing products. So I bought this Gold Bonds for bump, bumpy and rough skin. Let me show y'all. Can y'all see? It's so thick. I just, listen, like I love creamy products and it's for bumpy and rough skin. So I just apply it on my stomach and my stomach be so smooth. Like, like it be so smooth. Like a combination of that and the body scrubs are so amazing. So what I use is this Johnson Shea and Cocoa Butter Oil Gel. And this gel is so good. Like it's not too thick. It's not too thin. And this oil is so moisturizing. The oil is just sits on your skin. Like so sometimes when you have, you know, dry skin and eczema, you put a product on your skin and your skin just I don't need it. I don't need it. You dries it up and it's just where the heck did it go? But these right here, it sits on your skin and your skin absorbs it well. I use that and I also use my Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Oil. But I'm telling you, it's a skin therapy oil, so it does have benefits. Like, I use this not only for my dry skin, I use this for my stretch marks, my scars, and all of that. And this is so good. And I also use this on my feet because I have the ashiest feet ever. And it just brings my feet, my skin to life. It gives my skin that glow. So the next product I like to use for my dry skin and eczema is my eczema relief hand cream. Like I said, I do have eczema on my hands. So after I wash my hands, because I do deal with water a lot, I like to wash dishes. When I come out of the bathroom, I wash my hands. When I feel like I haven't wash my hands like an hour I wash my hands just for no reason like I wash my hands I'm always cleaning my hands and because I have eczema on my hands I have to moisturize my hands this is so freaking good like it keeps my hands so soft and moisturized and it keeps my eczema under control and also I used to use Eucerin, Aveeno and things like that and I don't really use those anymore because like I said my eczema did clear up and when my eczema used to be bad and severe I did use those in those 
those were very good for my skin i'm gonna get into the things that i use to clear up my eczema these are just like moisturizers these don't clear up your skin but it soothes your skin okay the next thing i use is aquaphor this is this is like a go-to like this is like number one like i have to have aquaphor there can never be a day a time where i don't have ha <laughs> i don't have aquaphor when i step out the door i have to have it have to it's a must so the product that i showed y'all are just like products that keep my skin moisturized okay but the eczema is still there okay these things do not make my eczema go away it's still there but it, the only difference is it's not dry my skin still it feel like a baby bottom but my eczema is still present and i'm going to tell you guys how to get your eczema to go away what you want to do to make your eczema go away is to go to the dermatologist honey they're gonna give you the best ointments ever okay you want to get an ointment ointments are the best thing for eczema because your skin absorbs the ointment better and ointments are thicker you want your eczema to go away you need an ointment from the dermatologist and i got two ointments and i'm about to show y'all right now the first ointment i want to show you guys is my hydrocortisone oh it's upside down sorry y'all i use it about everywhere but i don't use it all the time because i think this is a steroid and steroid medication you're not supposed to use that very often like all the time or it will mess up the pigment in your skin so you have to be very careful i know the one at the pharmacy is a steroid it messes up the color in your skin it lightens up your, the color in your skin and it causes your skin to be thin so you just want to be careful when you're applying that when your eczema is done clearing out you want to make sure that you stop using that and only use it on your affected areas in my next ointment that i use this is like my favorite one you can see that it's like almost gone you're gonna see results in like three days you're going to see your eczema light up in three days they gave me this and they gave me my hydrocortisone because they know how severe my um skin is and they know they keep seeing my face because as soon as i run out the, of these um ointments i'll be back in the um dermatologist because with eczema even though your skin lights up eczema it'll come back okay so this does lighten up my skin it makes my eczema go away because my eczema used to be so bad before i take i started taking these prescribed ointments my eczema used to be so bad so yeah this is amazing i see results quick but of course my bottle is gone my tube is gone because i do have flare-ups and i do use this very often and i'm going to tell you guys how to deal with flare-ups and what you can do to stop your skin from flaring up and also i want to tell you guys about this chinese product i was using on my skin from amazon you know it is a chinese product and it has no english words on it i should have never been using it but i did use it and it, it made my my skin light up in three days it was as good as this prescribed ointment my dermatologist gave me but i was using it and i didn't even know what word that was on to <laughs> i didn't even know all i did was searching you know eczema relief products and that came up so i'm just like you know it's for eczema relief make my eczema go away shoot why not try it and it really did work and you know i trust amazon most of the time i know a lot about eczema i know what i should do and what i shouldn't do but sometimes i might do things that i know i'm not supposed to be doing and that's not good for my skin and sometimes when i do these things my eczema do flare up back okay and real fast eczema comes back overnight okay it does not clear up overnight but it comes back overnight and you have to make sure that you're eating the proper foods for your skin like i said washing up in hot water can make your eczema get worse can make your eczema flare up and also you have to make sure that you're eating the right foods drinking the right stuff now let me tell you what causes my skin to flare up i cannot drink milk i cannot eat eggs i cannot eat ice cream anything dairy i don't know why eggs make me break out but i break out i cannot eat anything dairy even cheese and sometimes you know some foods make you flare up worse than others so if i was to right now drink a whole cup of milk i would break out on my face i would break out everywhere and i would get so itchy it's not even funny like but if i was to eat whipped cream i'll put whipped cream in my mouth because whipped cream is dairy nothing would really happen so it's just really weird but if i was to eat ice cream i would get real itchy my neck would get itchy my face would break out and everything if i eat ice cream i make sure that my ice cream is plant-based almond milk if i drink milk almond milk i love almond milk and the flavor of vanilla it's so delicious it tastes better than regular milk anyway so my favorite ice cream is cookie dough i can't even eat that anymore and i just learned things about myself and i realized that's why my skin was so bad when i was younger because i used to eat those things and not even know why 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 was my skin looking this way feeling this way it's the things that i'm you know taking in my body that's really affecting my skin on the outside they say soda is not good for eczema 
I don't really see, you know, soda affecting my skin. Also, when I'm wearing latex gloves, I have to make sure that I hurry up when I wear those because those things right there will irritate my eczema. Like when I'm cleaning and things like that, I realize like when I do take it off and I'm sweating, it does itch and it does get irritated. You just have to be mindful of what you eat, what you come in contact with when it has, you know, something to do with your skin. Find the right moisturizers, go to the dermatologist, get a good prescribed ointment. Even though when you do stop using these products your skin will get dry again so you just have to keep up with yourself all right so that is all i have for you guys i hope i helped with you know the products and what to use for your skin don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think let me know what worked out for you let me know if you like my advice if you have advice for me let me know and yeah this is queen naima and that is all for my video don't forget to subscribe and i'm out bye